All right, it is Thursday morning. I made it through the night, and since I wasn't able to show you my camp yesterday, this is my camp. Set up basically at the base of a waterfall, and it's really cold. Last night was pretty rough, not gonna lie. I mean, I, I wasn't cold, but Coldness was like definitely at the edge. Didn't sleep super well, but as could be expected, like the ground's pretty rough. But right now, well, I have some water that is not frozen because I brought insulated containers this time. I need to get some hot water so I can have some coffee. So that is my plan right now. After that, I'll probably... Man, that fire last night was amazing. I will probably make another one because it sounds really nice and I would like to be warm. So we'll see about that. Right now, though, I need to get some fire going. And by fire, I mean my stove so I can get some water because it's really cold out. As an upside, last night I boiled water because I needed to melt snow anyway for water. I didn't want to try and get water out of the creek, maybe fall in, and put boiling water into this insulated container. And this morning is actually still warm, like lukewarm, but I'll take it, take it any day of the week. So I'm gonna drink this while my other water comes up to a boil so I can make some coffee. All right, now that I have my coffee and my honey badger, it's time to go for a little walk this morning because I want to get the blood moving. It's pretty cold. No joke, that stroll through the woods was decidedly necessary. Pretty sure my boots were frozen when I put them on this morning and it needed a good little hike to warm my feet back up and essentially thaw my boots out and my hands. But something that I started not very long ago and is now part of my daily routine is some of this stuff right here. The Uncana Full Spectrum CBD oil. And yeah, I'm kind of, well, staying true to it and taking it daily so that I can speak to my experience with it. Even out, even out here, I brought it. And what I've been doing so far is, so as I understand it, one serving is basically 
one milliliter, which is like half of the dropper. And I've just been taking it under my tongue, put it under there, leave it under there for, I don't know, like 10, 20 seconds, whatever, until it's basically gone. Done. This fire I had going yesterday was pretty epic. And honestly, it was the best, like, backpacking fire I've ever had in my life, let alone one in the snow. I processed a lot of wood for it. And I kind of regret not waiting until this morning because it'd be rad to have it now. But as far as the day, it's already... It's already like about nine o'clock. Kind of slept in, kind of just laid there because I didn't want to get up. But either way, I'm up. Because of all the lost footage yesterday, I, one, need to go reshoot what I had shot yesterday. I want to get that taken care of. And yeah, I might go process some wood later with my hatchet and saw. That's one thing I didn't mention. So my loadout changed a little bit because of where I was going. Again, man, Strawberry Mountain, my nemesis. But when I got to the trailhead, I was like, okay, what do I need? What do I don't need? And because where I was going was somewhere different, I actually for, foregone. I went without my snowshoes as well as my ice axe because I could just see I wasn't going to need them. And instead of those, I actually brought a hatchet and a hand saw, a little silky saw, which makes short work of processing pretty much any wood, which is awesome. Because I wasn't going to bring those because a fire on Strawberry Mountain in wintertime, not happening. But I will probably go process some wood and, yeah. Go reshoot what I had filmed yesterday as far as like a separate piece of content and yeah, call it good. Just got back from a wood finding expedition. No big deal, cut down a tree. It was actually standing dead wood. And yeah, a couple things. One, I love this pack frame because I can do this with it. I'm not going to put it back on because it's heavy, but I was able to carry all this back here. I will say my silky saw, bam, I was, I was trying to saw through the thickest part and it busted. So I just kept on sawing and I eventually sawed it in half. Now, of course, that I have all these giant pieces of wood, I'm going to have to process them. But... I'm actually really excited about having a giant raging fire and I will probably burn all of this today because I cut it all down and I want to have a really awesome fire. So right now I'm going to go ahead and get started processing all this wood and eventually have a nice little fire.
made it I'm back at my vehicle ultimately man me and strawberry mountain first time i went to strawberry mountain was with my buddy matt from jerking the trigger went up there it's beautiful it's kind of like late summer went again on a solo trip which i guess would be my first solo trip up there and i forgot basically the base plate for my camera i just sent it for repair just got it back everything was dissembled i forgot that piece couldn't film it was a bust hike down the next morning went up there number two the second time basically my strawberry mountain misadventure had to scratch it hike back down no this technically third attempt at solo adventure up to strawberry mountain and like i can't even make it to the trailhead this time man strawberry mountain i am you know what though like every time you go on an adventure you definitely learn things for me personally, my biggest takeaway from this adventure is how to properly delete things off my memory card. I have a whole day's worth of footage that walk through everything, but it's gone. No looking back, moving forward. I also learned some stuff about fire making and I was actually really excited about the awesome fire I got going last night. Learned some stuff about picking wood, especially like this time of year. And the wood I picked for the fire today didn't work out as well but learning experiences at any rate one of these days i'm gonna get all the way to the top of strawberry mountain and do some filming but not today as always thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com look forward to seeing you next time